the abandoned house, and the people. Ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. If you step closer. Perhaps. But then you won't hear my proposition, Mistyus. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster, the man. You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is... If you'll follow me, Cassandra... my name I'm Elpinor of Kira how do I know your name I did what you did I asked and people told me tell me who sent you an inquisitive nature good that will help you know more than you let on knowing you is in my best interest and knowing me is in yours my prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mistyus, don't fail.
Must not burn through. Shit!
Let's go. village. But now it's just a nest of anarchy and crime. Ta-da! 
Ah, Mistios, you must help me. Must I? If you know what's good for you and your pair should take pause. I'm listening. I'm an exile from Athens. Though by looking at me, I'm sure that's impossible to believe. A successful exile, at least. Who should offer enough to keep me interested. You have a good eye. What's the problem? It's my brother Ornios. He's been captured by bandits. We were attacked when our ship landed. They must have smelled our wealth from across the water. I managed to escape, but he's stuck in a cage on a dock like a beast. And you want me to rescue him? Bring him to me with not a hair on his head disturbed and I'll pay you well. I'll rescue your brother. For a price. Yes, yes, of course. Drachmi is the only language you Kefalonians understand. I'm not Kefalonian. Brother sent me. Oh, I knew he'd rescue me. Oh, and how quickly he's found himself a lucky. To be clear, I'm the one rescuing you. And if it wasn't for your brother's money, I'd gladly feed you to the pigs. Now, let's go. Stay close and shut up. Reunited again! I don't know where you find these ruffians, brother, but they do get the job done. This is touching, but you owe me Drachmi. Don't think I didn't notice you looting one of my chests. Consider it a fee for your hubris, Malaka. Oh, she did bring you to me, Ornios. Let her go. <sighs> as quickly as I can.
believe I'm free. I think when I see it, I'll leave
me out of here. Let's get out of here. Can you fight? I'd be happy to. My thanks. I can't believe I let those malakas sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Cassandra. I'm Odessa, named after the great Odysseus. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. All the years I lived on Kefalonia, I never realized the mighty Odysseus' palace was here. This is it? It's just rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, uh, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. This is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. If you keep trying, you'll get there. Giving up guarantees you never will. You're the first one to encourage me like that. Just know it's your decision to make. Greatness is what I seek. It's what I've desired my entire life. I refuse to end up like everyone around me, content to go about their daily lives until they're forgotten in death. If you want Odysseus's greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? I've traveled all the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus's life, not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me.
Off we go now. in this area. Legendary Shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. Ah! <laughs> 
mean cloth. Sandra, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Miss Theos. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyos. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? Of course. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder.
It's a fine ship, the Limanes. Cassandra! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What'll it take for you to part with her? Oh, couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. We're not being very helpful, Telimenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone.
The Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? Uh. All of them! I swear! All of them! I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days! Let him go! No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Or did he hurt your feelings? Don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I, oh. But you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Get it! here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. Thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Cassandra, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. 
<laughs> and you just happen to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. So, you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. What is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Seeing as I saved your ship and your life, I'd say you owe me. Mind of a Mistyos. You know who you remind me of? Me. <laughs> a much younger me, of course, before I found my true purpose and lost my eye. You're changing the subject. Ah, yes. My apologies. You're right. I owe you my life. What could humble Varnavas do for the mighty Cassandra? I need a ship and a crew. <laughs> of course you do. So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home? I would if it meant staying with you. Can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with. Since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with the fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug! All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. 
It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? Spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen. Please, he'll do no harm. He'll help us. He will lead us. Silence! <laughs> Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The Wolf of Sparta is my father. 